Welcome to Compulite Vibe. Before lighting up the stage, let's get more confident with the system settings. Access it from Vibe menu or by tapping on the right bottom corner of Program and Playback Pages. Editing properties define the console's behavior. When you reset the editor, do you prefer the fixtures to go to their home values or to maintain the last value received? Would you like the editor to be cleared after a store command and after a master go command? Which value should the on command give to the intensity? Activate auto param grouping if you want to store the entire bank when you only move a parameter. For example, on the color bank, if you move only the red color, the green and blue values as well as the color wheel position will be stored. Otherwise, by deselecting auto param grouping, only the red value will be stored. With Vibe, you can decide if you prefer to program in tracking or in non-tracking mode, also known as Compulite mode. This also applies to on the automatic assign cues to playback button. Set all the default times for Vibe's functions in timing properties. Editor follows the system time. Set it by turning the virtual wheel or by pressing the number on the keyboard. Snaps are loaded in the snap time and there are default times for specific commands such as back, assert, go to and release. You can also decide to apply the look ahead on all the controllers to have a pre-positioning of the fixtures when they have zero intensity. Network is the place to configure the IP address and the connection sessions. You can set more Vibe consoles as master or slave backups with different client levels. User settings give many multi-user options to program the same show with several linked desks. For the PC version, a license is needed to unblock these features. If you recall, the editor buttons are highlighted to guide you through the programming syntax. In hardware, it is possible to set the backlight for active and inactive keys. The virtual wheel is to dim the desk light. There are also buttons to open OS system settings, make adjustments to screen resolution, colors, touch calibration, network, and the clock. Defaults is to assign default behaviors to the storage of contents. Open the general controller settings to state the function of sliders and buttons. Give default timing and properties to queue lists, queues, chases, and scenes. Decide if the queue or scene store command records the whole stage, the active perimeters, only the selected fixtures, or just the editor content. Configure the default store settings for the bank libraries, for example, if it applies to specific fixtures or to the ones with the same parameter, pattern, or device, and if it includes fixture reference timing, and for the effects also the base. In the end, the library filters allow you to choose which parameters are included in each type of library with the possibility to create user filters for personalized libraries. Go to Systems to decide if you want to auto-recover Vibes components in case of crashes. GUI, the graphic user interface, can be restarted without losing operative control and DMX output. LPU, the lighting processing unit, is the core of the signal. It keeps sending the DMX datas even if the other parts have a failure. This is a strong feature by Compulite that limits any risk of unwanted blackout. HAL, the hardware access layer, manages the communication between the GUI, the LPU, and the panels. Save your default settings to apply them in one click and you can always restore the factory settings. Now it's time to program your lights. Keep following us to discover more on the next tutorials.